This is a King of Heart production alongside Lee Dell's animation. The content of this video belongs solely to Peckham Rye Football TV. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah. Hey, hey, yes, we are back. It's me, Gibbs. It's Sunday morning. Bring up your chest. Away at Martin and Playing Fields today, we take on SCA Maroon in the PCC. Full squad to choose from. Let us know your predictions. What's going to happen? Let's go. Right or die. Right on. Lost my Peckham Rye hat. I'm sure it's in the car somewhere. But I think today's going to be a tough game. But I think we might come out on a win. Pick and ride, ride or die. Pick and ride, ride or die. Pick and ride, ride or die. We go hard to the fans get high. Pick and ride, ride or die. Pick and ride, ride or die. Pick and ride, ride or die. We go hard to the fans get high. What's going on, please? Oh, come on. <laughs> you good? Come on, but it's too early for the Jim, what was you thinking this morning? Bro? What do you mean, bro? What was you thinking? <laughs> Listen, hey, switch on. You're only going to get out the game what you put in the game. Yeah? yeah? Hey, you got to get that fire in your belly today. I want you to go out there, everything. Show them what Rai or Die means. It means first and seconds. It means fighting for your teammates. It means wanting the ball. Okay, All right? Slow. Listen. Switch them over. What we're not doing is when we pass, we're admiring our pass, yeah? When you pass, drop a couple of yards back if you have to. Create an angle and want the ball back again, yeah? Like let's not do things in silly in silly areas. If it has to go, it has to go. Alright? But let's play football. Let's play our football. On, let's not wait, let's not get caught up in their game. Let's play my yeah. football, yeah? You're all you're all good enough. We've got enough quality in this team to beat anyone in any of these leagues. <coughs> but you have to want it and believe it. You have to want to go and do it yourself, yeah? I don't want to hear any moaning today. I want to hear us going out, working for each other, encouraging each other. If someone messes up, G them up, get them up for the next one. Alright, so this is how we're going to start today. We're going to change things up. Still stretch though, watch Manny, yeah? Same time, yeah? And we're going to go 4-4-2, four, four, yeah? We'll do Manny. Line up. We are going to go Mick and goal. We're going to go Ricky at right back. Blaine, Jim center offs. Left back, we're going to go Shano. In the middle, we're going to go Tiny, Dean. On the right, we are going to go John. On the left, we are going to go Keenan. And up top, we're going to go TJ and Manny, and on the bench we're going to have Kane, The Plug, Duke, um, and some Kev, others. Kevon, <laughs> and yeah, and one more. Okay. Oh, and Charlie. No worries. Pass quick movements, yeah? Cut them open, early doors. Alright, don't think you can do everything on your own. Release the ball, give and go. John, release it quick to him. Manny, give it straight back. Your, your pace will beat them, okay? Then the, then the shot's on, likewise. Give it quick, he will give it back, then you're away. Listen, let's not get caught offside in silly areas. You've all got to work for each other, all right? So on the bench, we've got Kevon, we've got Kane, we've got Duke, we've got Plug, and we've got Charlie, all right? We've got a strong bench, again. I need you to all want to play football for each other today, yeah? Want the ball, as I say, when you pass it, drop two or three yards, create the angle, 
want the ball back again. Play football, and if it has to go long, it has to go long. Don't do nothing silly, and don't get caught out in any areas. If someone's not dropping, fall back. Shayna, Ricky, I need you to talk to the wide men, Keenan and TJ in front of you, yeah? TJ, when we're busting up down one wing, I need you coming into that back stick. I don't want to see you at the halfway line. I need you in there, yeah? Listen, stay here for a sec, stay here for a sec. We ain't finished. All right, Keenan, likewise, if we're going down one wing, I want to see you in the other box, yeah? John, get on the set pieces. All right, John's on the set pieces until anything different. Okay, around our... Tidy, anything, any free kicks around our box, you sort the wall straight away. You look at Mick and you grab people in, yeah? That's you. Ricky, Shano, on the posts on their corners, yeah? Let's organise and go early, yeah? Let's talk to each other, let's go. Come on, boys. Come Okay, so we kick off this week's match highlights with Peckham Rye in red versus South East Athletic Maroon in blue in the PCC Cup. The Maroons currently sit six in the Senior League, which is four divisions above the Rye. So if the Rye can pull this off, this would go down as a big cup upset. Let's go. So we pick the game up with a Peckham Rye throw which is flicked on to Mane who puts in TJ but unlucky with that TJ puts the pressure on, catches the player on the ball, looks to put in the pass into the box but's unable to hit the first man. Mane misses, nothing new there. So the game's picked up with them coming down Peckham's left hand side, Shane in full control, turns his man, looks to come down the line, puts the ball into Keenan, Keenan retrieves it well. Plays the ball into Dean. Dean with a good touch, looks up, tries to play in Mane, but good ball actually gets him in. Mane coming down, puts the ball into John and on the stretch, misses it, but TJ comes back post and clears it for a throw in. So next segment, we pick up the game with a throw in to Maroons. Jim comes and clears his man, gives a tactical foul, Maroons free kick. So they launch it into the box, good header down, but Mick all day cleans that up. So John slips in Mane with a great through ball, Mane goes around the goalkeeper, open goal, good recovery by the keeper. So the ball's launched only as far as Keenan who plays it back to Shane. Shane all the time in the world goes home back to Mick. Mick once again pops it back to Shane. Shane looks to go past two men at the same damn time. Gives the simple ball up top, held well by John, who plays it into Tiny. Tiny gives it away, unfortunately, but closes it down. Keenan gets hold of it, but it's giving away a free kick at the same time. So we pick the game back up with the ball going up top to John. Looks to put in a through ball, but comes off the defender. Retrieves it back and he does this. Dreams, dreams, Sells a dream. Anyway, in the mix of all of that, he sprays it out to Tiny, who picks up the ball nice and calmly, puts the ball out to Ricky, who's running down the wing, plays a lovely ball into TJ, pops it back to Ricky. Ricky, first time ball in the box. Keepers collected that all day. So we've got Dean on the ball now, looking to play it out to the wings. Gets in Keenan, Keenan fumbles over the ball bit but luckily comes out to Shane. Shane bypasses his man, plays a simple ball into Dean again. Dean releases John Woody down the line. John's in now, what can he do from this? Has a shot, good save from the keeper. So Maroons pick up the play with a ball played over the top to the striker who latches on, looks to put a ball in but no one's following it in and it's landed straight into Mick's hand. Mick's released Keenan now on the throw who looks to drive forward and look to put in John but it's come off the defender. Excellent throw, excellent throw. Go on Capo, that's what I'm talking about. You come alive now, you come alive now. Tell him, okay, we've got TJ up on the ball and is told to shoot his shot. After that deflected shot, the ball actually stays in play and TJ relentlessly pressures the ball. It falls kind for John who plays the ball into Mane. 1-0, Peck and Rye take the lead. 
So we restart the game with a maroon kickoff. They've really got to try and find their feet in the game. They haven't really posed a threat or played to the level we know they're capable of. So they look to attack the left-hand side of the Peckham defence with Shane making a great tackle there for Jim to collect, go past his man, play it simple to Shane, who pops it straight into Tiny. Tiny plays the ball onto Dean. Dean gets his head up, keeps the ball, has a look, plays Keenan. Keenan goes past his man, plays the ball out wide into space for TJ to get onto. TJ needs the support, but no one's getting up to him quick enough, so he holds the ball up. Two players around him, plays it back simple to Dean. Dean looks to cut in, play the simple ball into Keenan. Whoopsie! But then is confronted with two of their players. He stands them both up, but then looks to play in John. John's unable to read that pass, is cut short and cleared for dear life. Look at Ricky! Look at Rick! After ignoring the calls to spread the ball out to Ricky, we've got Mane sitting on the floor, which I can only think he's absolutely knackered. After 23 minutes of a couple of sprints, you need to be at training next week. So Peckham continued the game with a man down, which could prove vital if Maroons can capitalise on the one-man advantage. But in all honesty, Manny actually looks like he's injured, so we will see. Substitutions made, Manny limps off, Good game, good goal. Duke comes on. Let's go. So the next phase of play starts with Peckham playing out from the back. Ricky gets caught on the ball. Their winger puts the ball into the box. Knocked down for the man up top. Only to be called offside. Peckham free kick. So we begin this segment with the ball being played down the line to TJ from Ricky. Played back to Ricky, who looks to go long down the line, up to Duke. Duke holds up the ball, but at the same time is looking to attack. Slows the game down slightly, but then bursts past his man. Puts the ball into the box for Keenan to get onto, but it's well defended. Tiny looks to put the pressure back on, but the defender clears it only as far as their midfielder, who has Shane for company. Shane immediately turns back and goes with the runner one on one. Shane deals with that, it's a throw in. So TJ with the superb touch plays the ball down to Duke. Duke one on ones looking to beat his man, releases a shot, but it's got way too much on it and goes out for a goal kick. So after thinking about that dreadful attempt from Duke, we're going to take a moment and listen to what goes on on the Peck and Rye sidelines. So Cam, is it true you went, you went clinic this week, blood? Some little spots on your tongue, yeah? Is that alright, yeah? No, no. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> and there it is, the moment the Sunday gets weird. <laughs> Out to the KAM is sort of place. Oh, right, here he goes. Anyway, we pick the game back up with Maroons tacking Peckham. Good ball in from the left hand side. Good touch. Played over. Good football by Maroons. Now they're starting to click. That's a very good attempt. I've left this clip in. Watch this. Woohoo! I personally think he meant that it's landed at a Maroon player's feet, but it's gone straight to Mick. So we pick the game up with Duke on the attack. He's on the ball one-on-one -on -one yet again. He's gone past his man's, beating him for pace, played the ball into Woody. To be real, it took a big bounce before it hit John, but we expect better because John is high quality. So we're going to start this passage of play with a free kick. Shane puts it straight down the middle of the line. Far as tiny, they intercept, they look to go on the counter. Spray the ball in, but Ricky's there on the stretch. Blaine gets rid of, but only as far as the number 10 who has a shot. Comfortable for Mick, who pretends to have a quick nap, then jumps on the ball. Now, Peckham have been doing this quite a lot, playing out the back. They've been given so much time and room, they can literally carve you open at will if you allow it. So we pick the game up with Duke picking up the ball, slipping in TJ. TJ's gone one-on-one -on -one now. Looks to cut in, beat his man, have a shot, and the defender clears it off the line. Good defending. 
So this midfielder has been allowed to come forward with the ball, plays it out wide. A good ball up to the men up top. Turn, shoot. That's a good save from Mick. Looking more lively. So we come out with Tiny on the ball, plays it to Duke. Great touch to bring it under control, but gets blocked. Ball in the middle of the park, falls to their guy, good turn out. Drops the shoulder, looks to play the ball out wide. Gets there to their right back, who puts the ball down the line, only as far as Jim. Looks like a blatant handball from this angle. Ball gets whipped into the box to their left winger, who brings it down. Two men to beat, Ricky goes to ground, shouts for a handball, but the ref waves play on. It now seems the Maroons have found their feet and started to settle into the game a lot more and feel a lot more comfortable. We pick the game up now with their centre mid spraying the ball once again wide going down the left hand side. Ball goes up and Mick's able to collect that. So Mick just taking his time to slow things down, plays the ball out to Shane. Shame with all the time in the world, run past his man like he's not even there, and the ref calls half time. Good first half, you never tell the difference, yeah? We've had the better chances, we've had more of the game, you're doing well, but on the counter. Oh, uh, this, many, many. Wait, on the counter, they are dangerous, isn't they? On the counter, yeah? They can hit us, and they've got some good ballers up front that know how to work the ball. Many. Let's keep going as we are. But play the game, yeah? We're doing well. When we play the game early and we're looking through the lines, we're playing good football. Okay? Sometimes when we're trying to force it or ever complicate it, we're not doing it. Listen, Mick is is he's growing snacking. So when we come short, if one of us says at the side, go long, it's only meant to take the pressure off him. It's not to have a go at you or try and rush your play. But sometimes when we're going long, we're getting more joy. Okay? I know we want to play football and you've been doing good at it. Everyone's been doing great and it's a good shift. But just keep what we're doing. Okay, John. Take a blow for us. Come back on. Kano, you come up top with Play Duke, John. yeah? Right. Good afternoon. Well, well, don't get changed. Quality, John. Quality, everyone, quality, we're going to keep, we're gonna keep working right. everything. Everyone's going to come back on and off today, yeah? Where's Tiny, Keen? you take a blow for us, yeah? Yes, Keane. Get, get, get your kit dirty, bro. Yeah? Well. You get me? All right. TJ. Yeah, I'm here. Take a blow for us, yeah? Plug. Come on up right back. <laughs> Rick. Yeah. You, pu you push up, okay? Yeah. Listen, wait. Let's all work and earn our spots, yeah? <coughs> Don't come on cold. Play the ball. Play the football that you've been seeing. If we need to change it again, we're going to change it. We've got subs here. All right? Oh, clear the whole thing. <laughs> wait, let's all come out and go again, yeah? Okay, so we begin the second half with a maroon kickoff. I would say it's been a fairly straightforward plan for Peckham. They've dominated the game, had the better chances, but at 1-0, the game is still in the balance. Let's get to the action. So calls for a handball there, but the ref ways play on. Number 17. Can I get you to step back? So we've got Andre here running down the wing with purpose. Looks to get the ball in. Cameraman. Okay, the dodgy cameraman gets back up. Andre's unlucky with that, misses the tackle, but the cameraman, yep, yeah, we're back in play. They spread the ball only as far as Mick. We collect that nice and Don't dive, Rick, don't dive, don't dive. So with Ricky not diving and this guy being available, Kane trotting in in the back, which allows Duke to get in. Duke's now racing down the line. This guy's trying his hardest to keep up. Duke's gone one-on-one -on -one with him now. Let's see what pops off. Duke goes past him way too easily. Puts a cross in and shouts for a handball. Ref waves play on. But then in a twist of events, they come charging out with the right back on the ball. Plays a ball up to the man up top who gets a flick on, but then it's cleared, but then it's pinned back in. Almost allowing him in. And then Mick makes a fantastic save on that. Dean collects, plays it outright to Ricky. Ricky in time and space, takes his man on, then kills him. So we pick the game up with Kane on the ball, sprays a lovely ball out to Duke. Duke's gone one on one with the keeper. Very good challenge, but the ref has blown that up due to the fact he feels it was a high challenge. I don't know, weird. So we pick the game up with Kane once again threading the ball through to Duke, but it's slightly too short this time around, but Duke's still able to collect. Kane's in one on one, but stops. Maybe he felt sorry for them. So Mick launches the ball upfield. Wait a minute, we've seen this before. Duke takes the touch, unable, but brings it under control, has a shot, but that's gone wide, real wide.
Now, I once again want to bring this up. This is not an unbiased video that you're watching. This was generally wave after wave of Peckham attacking, which is not to take anything away from the Maroons as they are a very organized outfit defensively and pose a big threat on the counter. So Dino collects the ball here, turns out, plays the ball into Kane once again, who has a shot. Not a bad effort. So goal kick is taken, pump right out the middle of the park. Good touch by their centre forward. He looks to drive with the ball, puts the ball in, but it's met by Jim. But it falls kindly for their midfielder, who tries to create something, but it's cleared. So we're picking the game up with Shane twisting and turning his man inside out. Plug receives the ball, looks to go in the inside, drives, plays a 1-2 with Kane and he's also broke the trap. Unlucky, he's had a good effort there. So John plays in a boss level chip pass in for Duke to latch on to. He's gone past the keeper but a good recovery for the keeper puts the ball out. Good play. So Corner comes in, bounces past the first man off of Dino. Duke looks to spin and turn, but referees called a foul and it's a free kick. I don't know. Their left back decides to put his laces straight through and give the ball straight back to Mick. It's one of those kind of games for the opposition. It's not going right. Sometimes you just got to go long and see what happens. Okay, we're at that stage of the game now where I'm going to ask you to hit the like button. If this is your first time watching, go ahead and subscribe. If you've got something relevant to say, drop a comment. Let's go. We get back to the game with Charlie spinning on the ball, playing it back to John. John plays it out to Kane. He's one on one with his man, goes past him, puts the ball back into the box, but it deflects out for their defender to carry it out. We're on to the next segment. So again, we're here with Shane turning the hell out of his man. Goes past him like he's not there. He's not there. Goes past another guy like he's not there. He's not there too. He goes past another guy like he's not there. Can't see him. And then pops the ball off like nothing happened. But wait, he's not done yet. Goodbye, my friend. Can't sing any more than that. Otherwise, copyrights and YouTube and all that stuff. So we pick the game up with a free kick, which is taken real quickly. They're on the ascendancy. They're breaking forward. They've got to cause some type of problem. Bring out a good saving mick, but that's the end of that. Another free kick. The wall does its job. Ball's cleared out, but they still have a second bite of the cherry, but goes out for a corner. So the corner comes in, and dodgy Cam's phone goes off. Let's listen. Hello. Yes, I'll get that confirmed later today. Yeah, sounds a bit dodgy to me. Thank Don't you. even know what's going on in the conversation, but Thank definitely you. sounds something dodgy. I mean, who talks like that on a Sunday morning unless you're at church? <laughs> So we'll pick the game up again with Duke flicking it onto Kane. Kane plays it back into Duke, but somehow... Man, this guy is cheated. <laughs> he's the only he's the person. Or he just clearly doesn't know what the offside rule is in. Why did none of us think of that? The Lino didn't know the offside rule. Now it makes sense. So the ball makes its way to the halfway line only for their attacker to head it back towards the defence. For Duke to latch on to, slips in John Woody. Woody runs down the line, he's going to take his man on. Only one thing in mind, bang! Oh, well done. You know, sometimes you can't teach certain things. So we're back at the centre circle with a maroon kickoff. Now 2-0 down. Peckham are in full control of this. 
Oh, look at that. Manny miraculously is not injured and is back on. Let's go. Okay, we're at the next phase of the game. Throwing comes in, met by Jim, given to Shane. Shane goes line with it, simply to Kane. Kane almost loses out, but retrieves the ball again. Plays it to Charlie. Charlie, time and space. Picks his head up, goes forward to Kevon. Kevon on the drive now. Looks to slip in Mane. Mane's on the run. He's going to look to go past his man. Puts the ball in across. Met by the defender. Unlucky. So we pick the game up with a very clever free kick and they're almost in, but it goes straight to Nick. So we got the number 11 turning back to his left back. Receives it again, only for Plug to pressure him off the ball. Plug puts in the ball, but it's gone westward with that. So we're on to the next phase, Shane running out again with the ball. He's carrying it quite some distance to playing Kane. Kane's all the time in the world now, but he slows up. Puts a good ball in, and Mane got to score from there. Let's not talk about dinner again. So Maroons look to come to play out from the back. They put the ball out wide. It's all slowing down now. I don't know if we're getting tired legs and stuff. Charlie gets a nip in. Dean with a lovely turn backwards, lovely feet into Charlie. Charlie goes past his man, puts a ball out again to Kane, who's finding all the space in the world in that time. Gets his head up, puts a ball in once again. Manny, what's he going to do? We're going to blame that miss on the injury that he never had in the first half. Ball gets rolled out by the keeper to the right back, who's looking to go line. Good ball, to be honest, but it's met by a Peckinrad player, goes out for a throw in. Next sub. So after that fabulous clearance by John, we're out in on the counter attack. We've got Kane one on one chasing. He's now left the player for dead. He's got to go on and score, but it's a good save by the keeper. Next segment, we've got John Woody taking control of the ball. He's running down the wing now, and this only means one thing. He's looking to play in money. Nope. He's going to go left, right, right, left. Have a shot. Unlucky. Okay, feels like it's substitution time yet again. We've only just done a sub, but there seems to be roll on, roll off. Why not take full advantage of that situation? So a maroon free kick to the player, has a shot, Mick all day. So we find ourselves in a crazy situation where a penalty has been given for a guy just jumping in the air. Don't know what the ref saw, so I'm not going to comment on it. But what I will say is God is watching and so is the league. 2-1, Peck and Rye lead. So we start off with Charlie now on the ball, plays the ball straight through to John. John takes on his man, looks to cut into the box, takes on another man, and guess what he goes and does? Yep, squares it to Manny, and guess what Manny finally does? 3-1, let's go. Now, with this lead, Peckham are in full control and fully out of sight. It's going to take a miracle or something very stupid to happen. And guess what? We'll take the stupid, please. Although saying that, he was clearly in an offside position. Nevertheless, we still allowed the pressure to come forward and not dealing with it and went to sleep. So some might say we deserved it. Anyways, from one kickoff to another... That's the game, more or less, sewn up and over. Let's go. So I want to say well done for the win. Yes. Congratulations, boys. Uh, Keenan, you as captain today, how did that feel, having that responsibility on your shoulders? Um, it's happened before. I think being, like I said at the beginning, I don't think it's a thing where you should feel pressured or have anything on your shoulders. Everybody on the pitch should be a leader. Everyone should take charge. So... 
I don't think it changed my part of the game. Maybe a bit more vocal or tell people to be in certain positions or be the one that's like to uplift the game and I just have everybody following from there. But yeah, no, well done. And from what I saw from the sideline, it looked like you did take that responsibility quite well. Um, you made sure that people was in the places that they needed to be. Um, John, you came on, you, you started the game, you done, had a good game, you managed to get a goal as well. Talk us through your goal, what happened? And two assists, and two assists, assist. yep, yeah, sorry about that, sorry about that. But the goal, where you, you you kind of run down the line, beat the guy, what was going through your head? Uh, to be honest, I've done it about five minutes before, and my legs just went knackered, so I kind of scared it, and I thought, I'm not going to do it again. So I see Manny screaming on the edge, just passed him, and he started at home lovely, to be fair. Yeah, no, well done, well done. Like, it's a good win for the uh, for the Peckham right, through to the next round of the cup. Yeah, man. Yeah, my yeah. Nothing, boy. Well done, Johnny yeah, boy. Man well done. Well done. match, definitely. This well done. Here. <laughs> no, Right, so we've had a good tough game today. What was the final score? 3-2? Three, 3-2, two? Three, two, but it didn't, it didn't tell the reflection of the game, I didn't think, to be honest. No, it didn't. It really we didn't. I did like, predict the game to be 3-1 on the WhatsApp group this morning. but We missed several chances. We had several one-on-ones, which you'll see, or you've obviously seen in the game. Yeah. I think, to be honest, there wasn't a massive golfing difference between five divisions. Um, above they are. Obviously, we went 3-1 up. They've got a pen, then an offside goal. I do not think the result, I know we're through and that's all that matters, it ain't goal difference and that, but I don't think it does us justice on the day, because I think, if I'm honest, without being disrespectful to them, we could have put them to bed so much Early earlier, doors. and the yeah. score could have been so much comfortable, I like, Kane had a one-on-one, Manny's had one, John's had one, but um, but the lads have all put in a shift against a team, as I say, five divisions above, you can't, you can't question that, you can't question the, the heart and desire, we've had players coming back from injury today that have got minutes, everyone's had a good shift out there so it's all positives and into the next round I have to well, shout out a few players today Blaine and Jim I thought were solid at the back uh -huh. Dino put a great shift in in the middle um, along with Tiny Keenan taking the side out today as captain um, John's come on in the second half and scored two he's played first half come off come back on scored scored one set up one um, Kane's put some nice crosses in I think he's Kevin's come on put a shift in do you know what everyone out there even if I, if I ever mention the name like Ricky at, at the wing uh, Andre's come on you know what everyone has done themselves justice today and, um, and put us through to the next round and just shows that we're not here to make up numbers as a team you know we give any, anyone a game I think you missed out Duke as well um, the, what, what do you think of the shift that he put in to be honest, I had to put my arm around Duke this week and um, I've had to put an arm around him. He's been nursing illness this week. That's why he's come on at half time. He's put in like 35. He's put a shift in, but he's uh, suffering a bit. So, no, well, um, well done to the win. Free to the next round. You know what? It's all to play for. It's all open. We're kind of still in everything we're playing for this season. So it's, it, it's good. It's just not hopefully it don't fall apart like Christmas last time. Cool. All right. Well, well done for the win. Cheers, Cam. See you next week. best. This is that part of the segment where I give my analysis on who I feel the opposition's player of the match was. I'm going to give it out to the goalkeeper because generally I think he had a all-round top game. He kept his team in it plenty of times by coming off of the line and making crucial saves. So, opposition player of the match, goalkeeper, out to you. First off, let me start with the left wing. White paint on my boots, no devlin. Why? Man, stay out wide, made runs that will leave a whole right back stressing. Then we got Gibbs, role team manager. On a Sunday, far from amateur, setting up tactics, gonna win matches. No other manager touching his caliber. Wait, let me tell you about Duke. If I shout out through, what do you think he'll do? Trust me, man, it's not talk about Juice. If I give that ball, he's due to go boom. Peck a ride, don't have no jokers. King of hearts, only card I'm holding. Gonna, gonna win this league with ease and niche. Yeah, gonna get one up promotion. Peck and ride, ride or die. Peck and ride, ride or die. Pick and ride, ride or die. We go hard to the fans get high. Pick and ride, ride or die. Pick and ride, ride or die. Pick